And welcome back. We continue our conversation with Dr. John Schneider, the soon-to-be president of the Wisconsin Psychiatric Association. Doctor, we're talking about a shortage. What are you doing and what will you be doing as president to recruit people, to get people interested in this profession? The Wisconsin Psychiatric Association works on some legislative initiatives at the state and federal level. Mm -hmm. We're working on finding increased reimbursement for psychiatry. We're working on increasing uh, residency education positions even beyond what we already have. The organization and the State Medical Society work on trying to interest um, high schoolers and undergraduates. So there are programs to effectively invite someone to work for a day to expose them to the profession so that we begin to develop interest right. as early as possible. There are also a number of other initiatives to create con other consultation models to help provide services despite the shortages we currently have. You talked about having an eight-year commitment to this, at least an eight-year commitment. When you go to school for this, what, uh, what sort of classes do you take? Well, you, you get the full medical school set of classes. The, the, the first two years are academic years where you learn all the basic science to be a physician. Um, your third and your fourth year are the regular clinical um, classes that any other physician takes. And um, during that, you get exposed to all the major specialties. So um, internal medicine, family practice, surgery, anesthesia, um, neurology, and the broad base to be a physician. And in that is where people um, pick and develop the desire to want to work with people with mental illness. So you're learning surgical and, and internal, even though you're dealing more with, with the head. Well, one could say it's just in your head because it really is in your head. The biology of what goes on in your head drives everything else. Whether it's an internal experiential aspect of it or whether it's how the circuits are firing, it's still the same thing. So we do need to know all of those things. Do you have a problem with burnout in your profession? Because you are seeing and hearing things that we mortals don't hear. I think healthcare in general is struggling with burnout right yeah. now. The, um, I guess what I'd say, the commodification of healthcare where people are on very tight margins and have to do certain amounts of production to get enough billing to keep their clinic afloat sure. makes it very hard to attend to people, their needs, and care about them the way we think we ought to. And it doesn't matter whether it's doctors or nurses or social workers, everybody's struggling with this. Independent of that, you're correct. If you're a private practice psychiatrist in an office by yourself listening to people's woes every day, that can be very emotionally challenging on how well you take care of yourself to stay healthy and continue to do that. What was the trigger for you? Why did you want to get into this profession? What made you say, I want to be a psychiatrist? I was uh, an enlisted guy on active duty. In which branch? Uh, Army. Army. And I was involved in an automobile accident. And that got me interested in medicine. I got a medical discharge from the service. Um, and after I got out, I went to medical school and became a doctor. I didn't like the idea of being a psychiatrist. And I ended up not getting my first choice of what I wanted to do. And I had to sort of pick. And my wife and I decided what was most important was to stay in the area, and there was an opening in psychiatry, so I went into psychiatry. Um, since I've been here, I love it. Um, I, even though I didn't pick this, I ended up the right spot. The universe sort of directed me correctly. Mm -hmm. um, it's exciting. We're learning new things about the mind every day, um, and I couldn't be happier. It's, it's a way that we can help people have more fulfilled lives um, despite having to struggle with an illness every day. And I think psychiatry has tons to offer to anybody. As we wrap up our conversation, we're talking about this overall problem. Do you see a solution? Do you see things getting better? I think things already are getting better. Yeah. The, the state um, 
wrote large, the legislature, the medical schools, I think everybody's working on this. Um, we've made some investments into some longer term solutions. I think we're going to continue to have to struggle to get those fully up to scale to see the full benefit of those in the next three to five years. Mm -hmm. But I think we're in a lot better direction than we were five years ago. All right, Dr. John Schneider, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Much appreciated. And if you have a newsmaker in your town you think we should have on this program, let us know about it. Send us an email at tips at wearegreenbay.com or you can message us on Facebook. And be sure to join us once again Sunday morning at 730. Until then, have a great day.